I guess it's about time I finally do a little bit of an introduction on my next project. Um, I ended up selling my Impala, but this is my next project. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a 1977 Corvette. And I bought it like this in pieces. So if you look behind me right there, that's the frame. That's the car. Exhaust is underneath. I got upper lower control or the front spindles, rear spindles up there. Got tires and gas tank and transmission up there. The engine's right behind the four wheeler there. And all the way up over there is the radiator. So this car, when I bought it like this, was entirely brought into pieces or take, completely disassembled. And I've been kind of slowly working on it now, uh, just trying to get it put back together. And when I say just put it back together, it just seems like it makes sense just to paint everything and make it look nice. So combination of powder coating on the parts up there and I'm trying out some Pour 15, which if you don't know is paint over rust. 15. Uh, it's a really good chassis paint that people use and so I'm trying that on the frame. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I've done here now. I have a couple of quick snippets of what I did on the frame here but basically just a combination of sandblasting and wire wheeled this whole frame. The frame, it looks really solid. I also did a little bit of welding on it. Just There's a couple of weak points and this is maybe a Friday afternoon weld job if I could try to identify it. And then came in and brushed on Pour 15. You can spray it on, but I brushed it and then I took some internal frame coating all through the inside. It's This weld right here was entirely missed. This is just for the rubber bumper, so it didn't matter that much, but they completely missed this weld. Just nothing there. Like it was all, all on the bumper, nothing on the frames. If you look at some of the welds on here, just, just bad. Like, so went through some of those, filled them in. Um, not necessarily all on the bottom. I left some hole, the holes on the bottom just so that you can get the moisture out once it gets in, but the top side, I did a little bit more filling in. A little bit more about the car. Uh, yeah, obviously it's black. It's a 1977 car. This is an L82 four-speed car. So the best engine that you could get for the year, which was, I think, 210 horsepower. Um, with four-speed, it's got AC, tilt column. Not a cruise control model, but um, yeah, the tilt column and everything. Uh, mileage right there, it says 88,000. And I have to believe that, that is pretty original rather than rolling over to 188 with the amount of wear on this car. It's actually incredibly clean. There's like no rust on it at all. Typical frame rust areas are really clean. The, the bird cage area is really clean. There's no holes in the floor or anything like that. It's a really clean car, so. I mean, besides door panels, 
be needing repaired and there's no carpet. I don't know if you can see that, but as far as I can tell so far, the only part I'm missing is the front carpet. We do have the back carpet and that's really bad looking, but so really just need the, the front carpet and it's a complete car. But yeah, I would open the hood, but it's a little bit locked up under there, but it's, it's all in here. There's the AC condenser, or evaporator. Forgive me on my terminologies there. But last year, the vertical rear window. So that was my style that I really wanted to have. Now, I'll see if I can get up to my powder coated parts. Here's a few of the powder coating, just I got a complete front spindles. I powder coated them. The brake rotors I bought like this, these were already coated. And I'll, I'll need to get new lug nuts on there. I have a spacer in there now, but this whole rear trailing arm is completely reassembled, powder coated, new bearings, seals. So I have that process available if you wanted to see that as well. Here's the the engine, the long block at least, um, is sitting underneath some, some beekeeping uh, material, but yeah, it's sitting there, um, ready to be rebuilt. I did end up taking the cylinder heads off at one point, and so this is just loosely assembled right now, and because there's a, a large amount of oil all the way through the carburetor, took the carburetor off all the way through the intake, just covered in oil. So I took the, ended up taking the cylinder heads off, and there was a broken piston ring or possibly uh, not checked on the fit, but it's on cylinder number one. And there's a massive scratch on cylinder number one. So I need to get this whole block bored out or put a sleeve in cylinder one. So that's on the agenda yet. Here we have some tires. And of course, they're two different sizes between the front and rear. Don't know why. You can see the transmission tail housing sticking out right there. That's a fuel tank up there, it's a spare tire carrier. You can see I got those classic Corvette aluminum wheels, and I really like them, but I was thinking about going with a different style. Maybe, I, I almost want to stick with these rims, maybe a different color, so I was debating doing a powder coating on maybe like a, a dark gray color on those with black car, I think that'd look really good. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comments if you've ever seen that before, or if you think it looked good. I'm thinking it'll look good, so I might try it, and I might be the guinea pig for that, but tell me what you think about it.